So I was thinking to myself, I'm in the NYPD, our whole station has been taken over, we got a bleeding co-worker, I should probably go check that out, you know? Warner! Oh, I remember you. I don't think you were the guy who was like, ESP, but you were like... No, wait, you were the guy who was like, I don't really know if I can buy this. Uh, yeah, you were caught off guard. Where's Nyx? That guy was awesome. No worries, I'll be alright. You go after Ben. Um... We'll see. You might not be around. Who really knows? I, I guess I'll just have to go talk to the boss. Uh, that's not the boss. That's, uh... That's a policeman. Just a typical model policeman. Where's the captain? He went to look for Ben. Oh. Okay. That guy's dead. Well, a uh, moment for silence for a random policeman. Okay, moving on. We gotta go find Ben. It seems to be all the points of interest, at least in the police station. So I guess I'll go do that. But before we go look for Ben, there might be a cutscene. Always possible. Uh, chances are, I'll have to go to the dog kennels, because that's where Ben was. Oh, this battle again. No one wants to see this. Okay, so you can get a bunch of junk from fighting battles. That's actually pretty legit. If you want to grind here a little bit, I doubt the junk is really going to accumulate to the reward that you're working towards. Uh, that That's the real secret of the junk, but I digress. Uh, yeah, this cop is dead. I, I don't think you can help him. I mean, as much as I wish it was possible, uh, dead cop is dead cop. Likewise, I can go into the dressing room, I think, if I try hard enough. Can you really not go in here? Okay, if you can go in here, it's not letting me. I take it back. I'm not going to go there. Maybe later, but I'm not going there now. It won't let me. Uh, be careful down here, though. There's another enemy. Dogmen. Much like the rats. Uh, dogs transform. So, yeah, these were German Shepherds. At least I think that's the idea. Uh, they're kind of annoying to fight. They're kind of strong. Uh, they'll... They'll usually debuff you with the defense down. It's it's not pleasant. It usually hurts immensely. Uh, it can cause you to die pretty radically. Uh, it's not good. So be careful around these dogmen. You might be wondering why isn't there just a typical dog enemy? Because that would make a little more sense than just having it turn into some sort of werewolf type entity. And you're right, it would, but... Uh... Dogman. You might be wondering if that's the only enemy that can do something along those lines. If dogs are really that advanced when they mutate to such a degree. It's possible. I'm not going to say more about that. Kind of weird. Uh, Torres, no! Uh, Wayne, Wayne looks... Yeah. I, uh, this freak of na... Oh. I didn't get to read that. The text auto-scrolled. Uh, Torres, No! Uh, you screwed up. Why, why didn't you shoot, man? Uh, you haven't used a gun since your daughter was shot. Yeah, that's why he's uh, kind of a safety freak. That, that's the real reason behind it. Uh, his daughter got shot. Torres's daughter got shot. It's kind of traumatic, really. I can understand the reason behind him being, like, such a safety freak. Using, like, the whole method of, like, don't be safe. Don't use guns. Except it's a vicious cycle, so, uh, gotta use guns. Take good care of this place. Yeah, Wayne is in charge now. Sad day. So here's some development, some character development for Wayne. Kinda sucks. Also, we got a handgun. This gun, it's... It's Therese's gun. Hasn't used it in ages, but he always kept it in good shape. He wasn't just good at gun tune-ups, he was a real good shot too. But ever since the day his daughter was killed by a gun accidentally going off, he stopped shooting altogether. He came to this department to keep guns in check. Aya, I, uh, I know you can handle this gun. Take this and nail that monster for Therese. Uh, subplot everybody. But no, for at least we should uh, hold a moment of silence for Therese.
<laughs> okay, moving on. That gun that we got. Let's uh, let's take a look at that. If I can scroll over to it. There we go. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm just looking at. It. I might have to take a look at the bait. Wait, I take it back. Here we go. Twenty-eight fifty-eight. Yeah, it's not as good. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a handgun, but this rifle is so much better. Anyways, moving on. The gray box holds some ammo, and the other gray box holds a medicine, too. Fantastic. I might need to go exchange some stuff that I got, so give me a second. Okay, I think this is a good place. Remember to store your special items that you do not need, like special good luck charms that are completely pointless and just take up an inventory slot. Very important to remember not to clutter your inventory. That said, Nell this mo yeah, we gotta no go Nell and Monster. We gotta avenge Torres. It's super important as a B plot. I digress. What you care about is probably not a random encounter, but actually seeing what happened there. If I remember correctly, the door right there is locked, so we'll just go to the obviously opened one. Oh no, Kathy. What happened, Kathy? You look terrible. She was so... <laughs> My favorite cop, you're gone. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Ben's gone. Where? I, I don't know. She even went berserk and Ben went after her. What? Well, based on the orange goo that I see... It's go time! Also, the music totally cued it, so, uh, it's time, it's time to save Ben. That's what we got going on. Uh, I kind of dig this music a lot more than the one that we had going on, because, let's be honest, the other music, kind of, kind of stupid, kind of scary. Stock music, you know, trying to make me feel crazy, uh, crazy scared. Uh, Shiva, on the other hand, man, that dog, that dog kind of reminds me of the thing. But I digress. Ben, Ben's worried about her. They, they bonded, man. He's, they got that special bond. It's got to be uh, kind of traumatic because Ben doesn't understand what's going on. He's just a little kid. You know, no one explained what this whole entire situation was. Not his dad, not Aya. He's probably just like, the whole place is going crazy. Uh, and he's just thrown into the middle of it, not really understanding what's going on. So, I feel bad for Ben. Also, uh, ammo. Apparently, if you check this body, you get ammo. Uh, granted, Aya was like... Don't worry, we're we're gonna send help, and he was kind of dead. But uh, there, is that Nix? That looks like Nix. I yeah, all right, <laughs> I got it. I guess I could go try to get Ben. All right, just go after Ben. Uh, sweet. You helped me out, Nix. You gave me some ammunition, uh, which I really didn't need because I have quite the stockpile. You'll never run short of ammunition. It's not like a horror survival game in that sense. Uh, also, I think there's a battle here and a chest I didn't know there was a chest oh we got spiders that's right spiders start showing up at this point uh, what they like to do is they like to spread a web it slows you down not fun so you know they cause a debuff uh, also they were tr they will try to attack you I think they have a chance of poisoning you but I guess it's irrelevant they're not too strong they're not too difficult to handle uh, a bunch of them can get kind of annoying though Anyways, there's a vest with, uh, I think it's an auto potion. So you get hit and you have an extra potion and it'll just automatically use it. Kinda nice, kinda awesome. Don't really care too much about it. I'm, I'm good with what I got. Granted, I could look at the base stats and if it's better, and it's better. Or I could probably remove the auto potion ability and put that onto my own armor. Also, this guy. He's dead, I... Well, okay, he's not dead, uh, he, but he knows he's going to die because he's on his last prattle. Uh, and he gives us our ammunition. So, I guess the moral of the story is, if you see dying cops or dead cops, uh, take their ammunition because they're not going to use it. They don't need it. It's completely optional and pointless, but I digress. Uh, we could have gone up this way, but the area would have been blocked. Probably because there's no reason for going this way, which is kind of questionable in a sense because our boss's office is this way. Uh, I don't know. Do we have a key card? Also, I am slowed. 
are paralyzed. One of the two. It doesn't matter. I won. I got level up. That was a pointless battle, wasn't it? I mean, granted, I got a level up and I got the first offensive spell, which is actually not too bad. I'll probably make use of that during the boss fight. Uh, I, I, I guess it's all irrelevant. I mean, granted, battles are going pretty easy, so I don't know if I should really cut it too much. Oh, Shiva, no. Don't go that... Ben, um... I'm sorry, but I don't think you have much of a say in all of this. Uh, and you still don't understand. Rats, no! <laughs> oh man, this is a bad situation. Basically, Ben's screwed. He can't go back. It's the point of no return. Uh, I I'm gonna have to save that kid. I have to save Daniel's kid. I mean, maybe Daniel's in the area, but I don't see him. Oh no. I played Resident Evil 2. That's a one way mirror. Something's gonna break through it. Called it. Dogman, two of them. Oh, this is not a good situation. You should know they're both gonna use defense down. And it's gonna hurt traumatically. In more ways than one. Uh, so the, the important thing to do at this point is make sure you keep your health up. Because if you're down to what I got, you, you may die. If you have to use medicine, use the medicine. Oh, their roar attack really hurts a lot. It can get pretty problematic. This is why I don't like fighting these dog these doggos. He's trying to he's trying to get me. And he's going over he's gonna oh he's gonna try to strike me again. I don't want I don't, no stop it I survived somehow I survived uh, so yeah fighting these giant doggos can get pretty pretty crazy be careful I didn't mean to show that off but I, I kind of had to it's kind of a force fight if you come this way and you probably will because you know you want whatever that is and I'm pretty sure it's a key item so it's a it's a force battle that you have to do um, Okay, storage key. It's not a force battle. I know where the storage key goes. I'll be tackling that on in the next part. Because, I don't know, I might do some offhanded grinding between here and the next part. Just, just, a, just a thought, just an idea. Until then, though, I... Uh, looks like I gotta fight some spiders. Oh, they, they totally tried to trap me. Well, I don't think I need to show that result. I won. I'm, I'm cutting it close, though. I'm getting pretty bare bones on the healing. So I'm going I'm to just use some healing. I can, I can do stuff like that. Put myself back up to good. Uh, and also, got to explore every nook and cranny. Like, oh man, I think this is our boss's office. Also, there's a chest in here. Uh, that, that'll be useful. I can save, I can do what I normally do. I'm not gonna do it that quite yet. Oh, also there's the chest on the desk. Medicine 3, that's gonna be nice. That's gonna be useful. That's pretty much a fewer, almost a fuel, full cure at this point. So, it's, uh, it's good. It's good, what can I say? So moving onward from that side area, we got more cutscenes with Ben. More heartbreaking cutscenes. Oh no. Uh, Ben, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> By the looks of Shiva, she's not okay. She's nodding her head back and forth. Yeah, Shiva's sick. No! It's not Shiva, man. Eve turned her into a monster. What? <laughs> yeah, man. Close your eyes. It's going the way of old Jeller.
you're not touching him. Even though that was a kick-ass cutscene. Uh, very horrific. More horrific than the rat. I mean, good, good lord. Uh, freaking turned into a Cerberus. Uh, and I love it. It's so gruesome. It's kind of, it's kind of beautiful and horrific it is. Um, so yeah, if you're not convinced this game has horror elements, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Granted, yeah, I admit, they're outdated, but, uh, there's not much else I can do to really sell it. Not that I'm really trying to, but there's, there's not much else I can say about it. Also, we got the boss music, so I don't, that, that's kind of cool, I guess. All I gotta do is get rid of some of these rats. I guess I could cut it. Well, okay. Getting a lot of stuff, getting some medicine, I can totally make use of that. Going through a door that you obviously see, I mean, why, why wouldn't we go through this door? It's pretty obvious. You and I both want to go explore what we got going on here. Lab technician. Uh, so you're the forensic analysis. Uh, yeah, I gotcha. You're, you'll be safe. You're gonna give us full hills. Uh, no. It's a one-time only sort of deal. You can have her administer first aid, but it's only for one time and one time only. Uh, I would like to save that for a very drastic measure, which will be happening short. Very shortly. Very shortly. I mean, I still gotta go explore this room, the main bulk of the room. I'm pretty sure that way leads to the boss, and we have another room to go explore. Uh, oh yeah, this guy's gonna give us the key to the locker in the changing room. Well, normally I would end the part, but I guess I should probably go explore what's in this room before I cut the part. So, let's, let's do that. Uh, make sure you're fully healed, by the way. Just trust me on that, because it's going to be a very challenging mini-boss, I guess you could say. It's a giant doggo. The one that killed Torres, that's right. B-plot much? Well, I told you. They wanted us to get vengeance? Well, here we go. Uh, he also has the debuff, so be aware he's going to make you weak as hell. Uh, not, not fun. Don't like it. He's also going to claws. It hurts a lot. We have range granted, but uh, still, still not a good situation. Good thing I also have heal too. I could use barrier. That comes to mind. I don't need to, but I could. Also, it should be noted, it has quite a bit of health, but I managed to take him down, get a level up, and it's all good. Uh, we get a gun, and I think we're doing pretty fantastic. Might as well check this guy, see what he's got going on. Uh, nothing. He's dead. <laughs> Too late, I, uh, All the police force, they're pretty much done for. But you do get defense up, and that's super legit. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, can I scavenge some bullets off of him? Can. How <laughs> wonderful. Uh, also, is there anything behind here? There is. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. There's a box. Oh, man. I might be able to use that. So next time, um, I guess I'm going to have to re-equip everything, get souped up, and figure out what's in the lower levels. Also, fighting my way, grinding up a couple levels, making myself super legit so I won't have any issues whatsoever, like the worms. So, next time.